name is Veena Rindra Kumar and we are from NRK Academy and today we have this wonderful story called The Gardener and His Son, Sons and it is a 22nd story in a series of Aesop's Fables retold by Leo Tolstoy, the great writer and Aesop's tales are the classic stories from the Greek times and uh, these are wonderful moralistic stories and this is part of a series of Master Reading and Listening with Grammar Analysis. So what we are doing is we are taking a text and this is for uh, uh, English as a foreign language uh, resources for uh, as part of English as a foreign language resources EFL. So we are taking a text and we are reading it word by word explaining the prepositions, conjunctions, uh, helping verbs in such a way, breaking it down with grammar analysis in such a way that anybody can master the text and we also give the meanings. So when you listen to this uh, video you will understand that you can read. Even if one story can get such a great confidence. So let's start. A gardener, a gardener. So a uh, because there's a general gardener. We don't know what particular gardener is. A gardener wanted. So in the simple past, the past, it becomes simple past tense. Want becomes wanted. A gardener wanted his sons. His sons. He wanted his sons to do what? To get. To get used to gardening. So to get used to is a structure here. Get used to means, get used to means that you got the habit. That's all. So I got used to making videos, for example. Okay. He got used to getting up early in the morning. So a gardener wanted his sons to get used to ing, gardening. It comes in. A gardener wanted his sons to get used to gardening. Full stop. As he was dying. So here as means while. As that time you know was passing. As here means the time was passing. It's a linking word. He was dying. At that time it was going on. It is past continuous tense. Comma. As he was dying is one part of the sentence. The second part is he called them up. He called them up. And said to them. So as you can see clearly there are three sentences in this one sentence. As while. It's while or at, at that time. As he was dying. Right? He was dying. He called them. He said to them. See how simple it is. He was dying. He called them. He said to them. Was dying is a past continuous. He called them a simple past. He said to them a simple past. And the simply joined. See as he was dying. Comma joins here. Comma is like a character. As he was dying, comma, he called them up and is a connector, said to them. Now you got the full mastery of this sentence. Anybody can get this full mastery of the sentence. Who knows the words? As he was dying, comma, he called them up and said to them. And he is silent here. And he said to them, is silent here. Children, when I am dead. Children, when I am dead. That is future. Uh, when, at that time, when I am dead. You is silent here. Look for what is hidden in the vineyard. Look for. Which means with a purpose. For is a relationship here. Right? Preposition. Look for means look for the money. Look for the dog. It can bite you. Which means be careful. Watch out. Look for. Which means search. What is hidden in the garden. In the, sorry, in the vineyard. Which is like the backyard. The son's thought. Thing becomes thought. That it was a treasure right and the link a connecting word and when and when see there are two characters here and one more character when meaningfully when their father died they began to dig there and dug up the whole ground so clearly we can understand that there are four sentences here in one sentence the sons thought it was a treasure when their father died they began to dig they dug up see now we connect the whole sentence. The sons thought that it was a treasure. And when their father died, they began to dig. They began because in the past, begin becomes began. Began what? To dig. To dig. There. And they dug up the whole ground. They silent here. They dug up the whole ground. The sons thought that it was a treasure. And when their father died, they began to dig there and dug up the whole ground. Full stop. They did not find the treasure. They did not find the treasure. But 
they ploughed the vineyard up so well that it brought forth more fruit than ever. See, they did not find the treasure. So they found the treasure. They did not find the treasure. Negative. This negative, simple past tense. But conditional. They ploughed the vineyards up. See, they ploughed. Ploughed means they. The new word P L O U G H E D. Ploughed means they till the land. They dug up, dug up. You know how you plough the land. You um, you dig up the land to uh, to to bring out the crops. So, but they ploughed the vineyards up so well. For what? That it the vineyard brought forth more fruit than ever. That's all. See, so they did. They did not find the treasure. They did not find the treasure, but they ploughed the vineyard up so well that it brought forth. It brought forth, which means in forward, it's something like that. More fruit than ever. So his father was very intelligent. He made them. Dig the garden. So let's see. Let's see it last time. They did not find a treasure. They ploughed the vineyard up so well. It brought forth more fruit than ever. There are three simple sentences. That's all. They are connected by a simple connector. So don't be afraid of complex sentences. Complex sentences in English are simply simply connected with connectors. They did not find the treasure, comma, but they ploughed the vineyard up so well that it brought forth more fruit than ever. So the gardener and his sons. Let's check whether we have understood the reading. Uh, can we read? A gardener wanted his sons to get used to gardening. Used to, which means habituated. As he was dying, he called them up and said to them, "Children, when I am dead, when I am dead, look for what is hidden in the vineyard." The sons thought that it was a treasure, and when their father died. They began to dig there and dug up the whole ground. The sons thought that it was a treasure, and when their father died, they began to dig there and dug up the whole ground. They did not find the treasure, but they ploughed the vineyard up so well that it brought forth more fruit than ever. See how beautifully we have understood the whole story so well. A gardener wanted his sons to get used to gardening. Habituated. As he was dying, he called them up and said to them, "Clear, children. When I am dead, look for what is hidden, hidden, which means not not cannot be seen in the vineyard. Vineyard is that ground behind." The sons thought that it was a treasure, and when their father died, they began to dig there and dug up the whole ground. They did not find the treasure. In simple past negative, we used did not. But they ploughed the vineyard up, vineyard up so well that so it's a purpose. What happened? It brought forth more fruit than ever. See, so now you can hear this video any number of times you want, and almost like you can almost memorize with understanding. Memorizing with understanding is not a bad thing. A gardener wanted his sons to get used to gardening, you know, something like that. As he was dying, he called them up and said to them, "Children, when I am dead, look for what is hidden in the vineyard." The sons thought that it was a treasure, and when their father died, they began to dig there, see, and dug up the whole ground. They did not find the treasure, but they ploughed the vineyard up so well that it brought forth more fruit than ever. See, see, there's a there's a beauty, a rhythm in this whole um, story because when there is a meaningful. Story, especially written by great authors like Leo Tolstoy. Even if it's a small story, there's a beauty in it. There's a rhythm in it. So I'm sure you have got this story very, very well. Thank you so much. We'll come come up with the next story, 23rd story, the wolf and the crane. Thank you.